different types of research conducted by non-governmental organizations. Non-governmental organizations commonly use various types of research to fulfill their objectives, assess the impact of their programs, and inform their strategies. The primary types of research by objective used by NGOs include 1. Descriptive research To describe the characteristics or features of a population, situation, or phenomenon. This type of research aims to provide a detailed account without necessarily looking for causal relationships. An NGO focused on child welfare might conduct a descriptive study to gather detailed information about the demographic characteristics of street children in a particular city. This research would collect data on age, gender, educational background, health status, and living conditions, providing a comprehensive snapshot of the target group. 2. Exploratory Research To explore a problem or a new area where little information exists, this type of research is used to gain insights and familiarity with a topic for later, more detailed studies. An NGO working on mental health issues may conduct exploratory research to understand the stigma associated with mental illness in rural communities. This research could involve focus group discussions and interviews with community members to identify common beliefs, attitudes, and knowledge gaps related to mental health. 3. Explanatory Research to explain the relationships and causality between variables. This type of research seeks to identify and understand the cause and effect relationships within a specific context. An NGO aiming to reduce school dropout rates might conduct explanatory research to determine the factors leading to high dropout rates in a particular region. The study could explore how economic status, parental education, and school infrastructure affect students' decisions to leave school. 4. Evaluation Research To assess the effectiveness and impact of programs, policies, and interventions. This type of research is critical for NGOs to understand the outcomes of their initiatives and to improve future programs. An NGO running a microfinance program for women entrepreneurs might conduct evaluation research to assess the program's impact on participants' income levels, business growth, and overall quality of life. The evaluation could involve pre- and post-intervention surveys, financial records analysis, and interviews with beneficiaries. 5. Action Research To solve an immediate problem or improve practices through a cyclic process of planning, acting, observing, and reflecting, action research is participatory and involves stakeholders in the research process. An NGO working on environmental conservation might engage in action research with local communities to develop and implement sustainable farming practices. This research would involve the community in identifying challenges, developing solutions, implementing changes, and evaluating the outcomes collaboratively. Detailed examples of each research type. An NGO focused on public health might conduct a descriptive study to map the prevalence of waterborne diseases in a region. The research would collect data on the incidence rates of diseases like cholera and dysentery, sources of drinking water, and sanitation facilities. The findings could help the NGO design targeted interventions to improve water quality and sanitation. An NGO interested in promoting renewable energy might conduct exploratory research to understand community attitudes towards solar power in remote areas. Through surveys and interviews, the NGO could gather insights into people's knowledge of solar energy, perceived benefits and barriers, and willingness to adopt solar technology. An NGO addressing gender-based violence might conduct explanatory research to examine the relationship between socioeconomic factors and the prevalence of domestic violence. The study could analyze how income levels, education, and employment status influence the incidence of domestic violence helping the NGO design more effective intervention strategies. An NGO providing educational scholarships to underprivileged students might evaluate the program's effectiveness by tracking academic performance, graduation rates, and employment outcomes of scholarship recipients compared to non-recipients. This evaluation would provide evidence of the program's impact in areas for improvement. An NGO working on disaster preparedness might collaborate with local communities to develop and test emergency response plans. 
through a series of workshops, drills, and feedback sessions, the NDO and community members would identify best practices, address gaps, and refine the plans to enhance community resilience to natural disasters. Conclusion By employing these types of research, NGOs can better understand the needs of their target populations, develop effective interventions, and continually improve their programs. Each research type serves a unique purpose and provides valuable insights that contribute to the overall mission of the organization.